Welcome. By now you probably finished the first episode talking about why Vim is so crazy amazing and why your life is never going to be the same after using it. And believe me, all of it is true. However, we're going to have to start small. It's going to seem unspectacular. It's going to hurt using Vim at first because it's very different from other text editors and it's kind of counterintuitive when you first get started. But if you stay with it, soon enough you'll be flying like an albatross across the waves into a bright and distant amazing future. So let's get you started, huh? Okay, so here we are inside of Terminal, and in order to enter Vim, we'll just simply type in V-I-M and hit enter, right? Not a lot's going on here, and you'll notice even if you press something, like if I press F right now, F doesn't show up on the screen. If I hit G, G doesn't show up on the screen either. That's because we're in normal mode inside of Vim, right? Uh, in order to be able to have Vim operate like typical text editors like Sublime Text or uh, Nano, I don't know, who uses Nano, really? Nobody. Um, whatever, though. So if in order for us to get it to operate like a regular text editor, we have to enter insert mode. And in order to do that, we type in I, right? I for insert. Hooray, you get it. And let's type in anything we want. Hello, world, like everybody always does. How boring. So to exit out of insert mode, then we can hit escape, correct? And so we have this nice, beautiful little file. What do we do if we want to save it then? Inside normal mode here then, we can type in colon, so shift, semicolon, whatever, W for write, but uh, you type in W followed by the name of the file you want it to be. We'll call this hello world.txt, like that. Hit enter, bam. And if we quit out by hitting shift colon Q, like this, for quit, of course, you know this, we'll exit out. And now uh, we can then go back into this file if we want to, since it's already been created. We can go hello world.txt following them. And there it is. Wow, amazing. Now, more things that we can do, for instance, instead of hitting I to go into insert mode, there are other ways we can too. Uh, right now the cursor is here on the E in hello, right? If I hit I, it'll insert before there. And if I start typing, say, this lowercase uh, V, you see it goes in before the E. Let's exit out of there. And if we go again, if we hit A instead, A is for append. It'll put us into insert mode, of course, again, but it'll be after the cursor because we're appending after the cursor. How intuitive, amazing. So uh, let's hit A here. And if we type in V again there, you see it shows up after that little E. Let's escape again. More cool things you can do. If, say for instance, we're over here in the middle of the line and we forget that we want to put something at the beginning. Well, that's annoying to go left, 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 all the way to the beginning and then enter insert mode, whatever. We can hit shift I or capital I and boom, puts us into insert mode right at the front of the line and we can start typing. Why, hello world, we'll escape and let's enter insert mode and make that lowercase again and then we exit again. Likewise, you notice how I inserted before the cursor, and if we did shift I, it went all the way to the front of the line. A is kind of the same way. A appends after the cursor. If you do shift A, it goes all the way to the end. So if we do shift A, it puts our cursor all the way to the end, puts it in insert mode, uh, and we can type at the end. It's me, whatever. Okay, from here on, let's say we want to save again. We can hit colon W, since the file's already been created, we don't have to actually specify the file name again, unless we want to save it to a new file, but forget about that. We can just hit like that. See? Another thing we can do is if we want to save, we can hit WQ like that. Save and quit together. Write and quit. Hit enter, and we exit out, and it's all saved. So let's go back in. One last thing before we part, dear user, is for us to look at uh, wiping out any changes, right? So let's hit Shift A to go to the end of the line. Uh, something that won't get saved. We're gonna put that in there. We haven't saved yet, right? So if we hit colon Q just like this and we hit enter, ah, Vim just freaks out on us, right? Gives us this big ugly error. What's doing is that it just wants to be sure that we're sure that we want to exit out, out, right? So we can hit colon with uh, colon Q with a bang afterwards, and that will wipe out all of our changes and nothing gets saved. So if we open them again, you see that didn't get saved at all. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it, sir, and or madam.